Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true note of welcome to No Umbrellas Allowed, and let me tell you, this here, this is something special, because this is a game about being a shopkeeper, but not just any shopkeeper, no, 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 a shopkeeper in a grim, grimy, second-hand used goods store in a particularly depressing dystopia, okay? Imagine Papers, Please, except it's the future and everyone's very aware that we're maybe only a couple of months out from the complete collapse of society. Okay, how does this all fit together then? Well, you're mainly going to be spending your time hanging out behind this counter, dealing with customers, who are going to be coming in and wanting to do one or two things. One, they're going to slap down items and say, please buy this from me. If you do so, you pop it in the window, and two, people will come in saying, hey, just saw this thing in the window, I'd like to discuss buying it. But it's not that simple, because every single item needs to be evaluated, negotiated over, all the rest of it. So say, this woman's come in, and she's dropped off a backpack. And that information over on the left there, that's the information that she's given me. So, I don't know that's true, that's just what she says. Now, she may be trustworthy, or she may not. So, it's a backpack, she says. Yep, yeah, I think we can believe that. She says it's a particular brand. Okay, we'll be the judge of that. And she acknowledges that the backpack is slightly damaged, therefore she's not expecting quite as much money. Put all that together, in the end, she expects 118... Whatever the currency is, it begins with a V, I can't remember what it is. But that's what she expects to get if everything is as it should be. But uh, we'll be the judge of that. And that's what all these tools down here are for. So okay, let's start off with quality evaluation on the left here. Nice and simple here. So okay, the backpack isn't perfect, but neither is it massively damaged. So okay, I'm going to say that that is fair. I'm not going to challenge her on it being slightly damaged. It is slightly damaged. So, okay, me and you are in agreement on that point. However, the next step's going to be more interesting. Crack out the magnifying glass and we need to figure out what this thing is made of. So, she says, yes, this has got a very specific brand. Brand, easy enough. So, okay, go over to brands, list of brands, easy enough. So, if it is an easy enough brand, then... It ought to be one of these patterns. But I can't help but notice, oh dear, it is not, she's lying. Or possibly she's mistaken. She could be trying to con me, this could be an innocent mistake. But this is just a generic backpack. So, okay, no, 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 we need to go back to, uh, yes, materials and... Uh, Yes, I believe this is just a generic canvas and not actually a branded bag at all. So I'm going to bring that over to her and replace the material with the material I know is true. Now she might accept this or she might throw a massive strop and say, No, I don't believe that. I'm taking my bag and going home. So if you push people too hard, you might lose a sale entirely. But for the time being, it's made a canvas and I did suspect that. Right, so does easy enough usually make bags made of canvas? No. So I'm so sorry, but this is the wrong material. This is definitely not easy enough because it's not right. Okay, next two should be much easier. One, we just check it in terms of uh, its date. So it is from uh, 2068. This is basically to verify one, is it an antique or two, might it have some form of uh, historical significance. Nothing happened in 2068. It's not old enough to be an antique, so we don't need to worry about that. And finally, is there an autograph or a signature or something? There is not, so we don't need to worry about matching an autograph. So, okay. Me and her have now come to an agreement as to roughly what the quality of the bag is, which is, uh, yes, there are problems, actually. And now we get into negotiating. Let's say knock, uh, yeah, 20 odd percent off this. So I'm going to offer her 45V. How about she accepts that? And, okay. So she got something out of it. She's happy enough. And that bag enters my inventory. So now we move over to step two. The window display, because you can choose how to actually lay out the merchandise, which is just absolutely bloody magnificent. So, get that backpack, put that right here, and now we have to figure out how much we're going to try and sell it for. So, we bought it for 45, it was appraised at 58, and that is now the 
factual agreement as to what it is worth. So, like, those notes, like, imagine everybody can see them. They're the known agreed-upon facts based on the evaluation. So, I can probably still make a bit of a profit here. We'll start putting it at, yeah, 75 and we'll see whether it sells or not. Because we can change that later. And if it doesn't sell, we can just, you know, get rid of it in other ways. So uh, we'll start right there. That's going to be absolutely fine. Back to the shop. And if we're lucky, someone will be uh, showing up sooner rather than later. And uh, someone wants to actually uh, buy something that was already in the window. So, okay, this is actually one of our pricier items. Uh, and uh, she was happy with it. This was an item we bought previously. We evaluated it at 241. She bought it just shy of 300. So now we have got a good, solid amount of money. Sometimes people want to barter. Sometimes uh, not so much. And... Uh, Okay, yes. Also, you just get bits of the story uh, as you're passing by. So, uh, all right. This guy passed by a demonstration because, as I say, society is about to collapse. We'll get into why in a moment. Okay, more people trying to sell us shoes uh, that may possibly be not what he says they are. Well, he says perfect condition. They do seem to be in perfect condition. Uh, he's not wrong. So, okay, here's the big one, though. He claims this is... Uh, Easy enough, and the material is a military grade PVC. So, all right, brands and brand list, and easy enough. We just need to make sure we get the right one. So, uh, which is uh, military? Okay, military grade PVC, which is what he says these are. No, he's right. These are easy enough boots, but the pattern, because you're looking for the pattern, not the color, because they might have been dyed or whatever. Yeah, it's actually. Oh, hang on, which. It's this one, right? Not not this one. Because, oh, hang on. These look extremely similar. What's the difference between these two? Hang about. Which which is it? Because, ah, okay. On this occasion, maybe this brand, yeah, the precise color does matter because it's actually a brand thing. So, okay. It's actually premium. And he says, yeah, he says military grade. So, he's wrong. So, okay. It is actually easy enough, but it's not quite as valuable as he says. So we're going to swap that over, and that's going to reduce the price significantly. I got it wrong. He doesn't seem to mind, because I'm not messing him about. I'm just, you know, factually correcting him. But the brand is correct. We just needed to change the exact uh, make. They are shoes. Uh, story checks out, and I imagine uh, there's going to be... Uh, Nothing else dramatic going on in terms of, uh, yes, the historical importance of these shoes or whatnot. And no signature found. So, okay, we're just straight into uh, negotiating. So, uh, he seems uh, pretty chirpy. Let's knock 25% off of that and say, uh, yeah, 150. Let's see if he's maybe willing to uh, do that nonsense. And there we go. I get the shoes and they get to go straight outside and make sure you take old stuff out. So, okay, we should be able to make a good bit of profit here. Put them out at 275, wrap them up in the window. Yes, indeed, we've now got some valuable stuff out there. So, all right, we've got something else uh, being, uh, yes, inquired after. Poster for only 70. Oh, she doesn't look happy. More expensive than new ones. Uh, I'll take it. I've been looking for this. So sometimes uh, if you put things at like massively over the right price, someone's going to show up who wants it. But more people are going to show up and say, no, that's too much and try and argue. That's the owner, by the way. He actually owns the shop and I'm kind of in debt bondage to him in a way. Yeah, like right now he's taking my ID from me for safekeeping. As I say, nightmare dystopia. So, by this Friday, I have to go to an office and pay a registration fee to keep being a merchant. So, uh, yes, you're constantly in debt in this game. And I need 1,300 V to make that happen. Okay. And yes, this is what the calendar is rather useful for. So, as a result of that, we now know, yes, it's day six, Monday, right now. And by Friday, we have to take care of this. But I believe that is uh, the end of the day. That's all our customers. So now we can have a bit of a wander around town. And crucially, scavenge the bin. There's new stuff in the bins every day. Sometimes uh, you might get lucky, find something cheap you can put in the actual uh, shop. Sometimes uh, you might even find some money. It's marvellous. There we go. 13V. Right there. Nothing to turn your nose up at.
If you're wondering what dystopia we're in, by the way, we're in the slightly unusual Dystopia 17B, which is a couple of decades back, there were a few problems, and everyone decided, you know what the issue is? It's emotions. Let's cut down on this whole emotion nonsense, and now the government is putting something in the rain that stops people having emotions. Which is why the game's called No Umbrellas Allowed, because umbrellas are illegal. Alright, you can't have umbrellas, because then you'd be protected against the rain, which may or may not have chemicals in it to make you less emotional. So yes indeed, the old emotions are bad, let's suppress emotions with drugs, chestnuts. And some people are a little bit annoyed about this, in fact. So, yes indeed, the uh, drugged rain, called Fix Rain, yeah, plenty of uh, protesting going on. So, I could participate, or I could say, you know what? Kind of just want to keep my head down. But go on, screw it. I'm going to participate in the process. Because I feel like I'm um, the drug drain that takes away our emotions in a world where not being in the rain is a crime. I feel like that might just be bad, you know. So there we go. That's the end of the day. And now I get to see, you know, what I actually picked up, added to the store, what I sold, what my best and worst deals were. I think it's done on a percentage, by the way. So... Yes, indeed. There was a cheap poster that I bought at 35, sold at 70, so even though money-wise it didn't make a huge amount, that was still a 100% markup, so that's my best deal of the day. And now I need to accumulate some funds fast because I need 1,300 to go into, uh, yes, my merchant registration before the end of the week. Before work begins, though, yes, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do if you want to. So, for example, you can invest some money into going to the florist next door and purchasing some plants that might give you a bit of an edge in terms of drawing more people into the shop or making them, you know, happier to pay more or sell for less or diddly diddly do. So, if you want to, you can invest in all of that good stuff. And do you know what? Let's buy one plant. Which do I want? Here we go, for only 50v, this plant, that's nice and heart-shaped, makes people happy. Go on. I'll buy some of that right now. So, baby plant's going straight over to my office, and for the next three days, that's going to bring me good luck. So, okay. With that plant in play, I might be able to uh, take the mick a bit more inside my job. And there she is next to my robot, lovely. You also get nightmare propaganda just, uh, you know, piped into your office too, which is very, very welcome. Okay, let's get to work today. So, 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 what have you got for me, my good woman? You got a shoulder bag, got a particular brand of material, slightly damaged. Let's see how we feel about that. No, 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 no. This is actually in better condition than what she says. So uh, I'm going to tell her that because one, it'll make her happy. And two... If it's agreed that it's in perfect condition, I can display it in perfect condition. Therefore, I can charge more for it down the line. So, sure, if I didn't tell her I could buy it cheaper, but I'd also have to sell it cheaper as a result of that. Got to be careful, though. Money is getting a little bit on the, uh, the low side. But don't forget, this flower means I might be able to get away with a bit more. So, all right, check this. We need to make sure we go into... Uh, brands, uh, list of brands, uh, so, okay, the brand uh, Sweary Swear, gotcha, so story does seem to check out, that appears to match up with uh, one of their uh, nice little things uh, right there, so, okay, hang on, uh, she says that's, no, she says it's basic uh, PVC, it's not, it's actually an original fabric, which is uh, slightly, just a little bit nicer, so, okay, Good news for you all round today. Okay, bag is basically current, nothing of note historically, and aha, we've got our first actual signature. So, okay, first things first, we've got to match this signature to a person. So this is, uh, okay, Yu Jong Lee. All right, so just one. Make sure it's legit. We've got to look really carefully at this because the slightest deviation from that autograph means it's not real. You will have to call out fake autographs. Now, to me, that looks pretty much spot on. So, okay. She was a painter in protest against fixed rain, donated umbrellas with her signature on them to citizens. She became a fixie recently. Okay, so she herself has been 
yes, uh, fixed. Which means that she doesn't really have uh, emotions anymore. She's kind of been zombified by the government. And they're going to do that to all of us with their nightmare reign. Pretty damn soon, actually. This seems legitimate, though. This is fine. So, yes, you do indeed have an artist who has signed this. So, we can acknowledge that, which significantly increases the value. So, okay, she is delighted about that. And, yes, there's no other uh, specific facts about this individual I need to draw attention to. So, okay, we've got a bit of a smaller, small issue here, which is kind of but notice that I can't actually afford to buy this item anymore. Let's see if maybe, just maybe, she'll accept a real lowball offer. Okay, let's try 360. All right, put the offer in and... Okay, come on. There's a nice flower. All right, thanks for finding me every detail. Okay, she was pleased because I told her about all of this, meaning... Okay, we've got a really valuable bag at quite the bargain. So, okay, put that right in the window. And yes, it was uh, evaluated at uh, almost 600, uh, bought for only 360. What are we going to sell that for? Let's start it off at 850, try and make some money back. And I think I found this bag in the trash last night, so we can try and sell that too. In fact, oh, blimey. Okay, that was more valuable than I was expecting for a bag in the trash, but I guess it's got a logo on it, so okay, we'll just sell that for 300 That's all absolutely fine. I really hope the next person who comes in, by the way, um, yes, they uh, want to actually buy something rather than sell, because I'm kind of out of money to actually buy anything with, incidentally. You may notice also, I've got an umbrella. Don't worry, I'm not an umbrella criminal. I'm supposed to have that. You see, my store is an umbrella pickup point. So people can sell umbrellas, like turning in illegal umbrellas, and then I can hand them over to the government at the end of the week. The only thing I'm not allowed to do is sell them. Now, I could try and sell them, but that would definitely be a crime. Okay, so we've got someone who unfortunately wants to sell something, but it is cheap. So, okay, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. This is a poster made of paper, slightly damaged. I agree it is slightly damaged. 2077. Oh. Okay. Is this potentially useful? So, participants for, yes, the trials of Fixer 1.0, which did indeed happen. This has got historical significance, which is kind of unfortunate, actually. Yeah, that's going to double the value, irritatingly. But this is actually significant. The poster pertains to, yes, the initial trials of Fix Us. That's boosted that to 94, irritatingly. And it's got a bloody signature. I mean, I could just not tell him. It means that I'd make less, but okay, is there any way I can make some more money in a hurry? Because uh, I've already taken out one loan, so I've already maxed out the guy who owns the shop. I could borrow 1,500 off a loan shark from upstairs, but um, that's, that's a dumb amount of interest. Okay, if we're really lucky, maybe this is a fake signature. Okay, just... Match the signature. We just need to find a a fit for this. Here we go. It's you. So, uh, current leader of uh, the Association of Victims of uh, Avarice Crimes. Okay, they're the guys who are trying to turn us into zombies with the rain. Gotcha. Is it legit? It appears to be as best as I can tell. The little dot is the same. The angles uh, appear to be uh, comparable. So... Uh, Okay, current leader of Association of Victims of Avarice Crime. Who is that? Is that a, a businessman? I think that's a businessman, and that would actually be good. That would mean it's actually worth less, because everybody hates businesses. Because, yes, like, the reason we want to suppress emotions is apparently businesses got a bit uh, OTT a couple of decades back and did a bunch of stuff that is now called Avarice Crimes. So... Okay, was that technically a businessman? And uh, do I look like an idiot? No, okay. He doesn't accept that. So in which case, what is this guy to be precise? Because yeah, sometimes uh, agreeing what that person 
was is tricky. So we're just going to not acknowledge that. And we're going to offer him literally everything I've got. Because I can't actually... Is he going to do it? Can't you offer me slightly more? No, I literally can't. I literally cannot, buddy. What I probably should have done is just not told him it was significant. Because uh, I wouldn't be able to modify that later, I don't think. But, yeah, then I would have at least been able to buy it. I'm so sorry, buddy. This is my final offer. You can take it or you can go. No, he's decided he wants to go. And sadly, that's bad for my reputation. But I literally couldn't afford it. So, yeah, I kind of did eat up all the money. I'm kind of hoping someone will buy something soon, robots. Here we go. Someone wants to buy a backpack. Magnificent. So, uh, it's 75. Uh, more expensive than new ones. But I'll take it. Good. We desperately need the money. So, I've just sold uh, something. We've made a bit of money right now. Uh, we're supposed to be making money by Friday. Instead, we're just losing it incredibly quickly. Hello. Are you important for some reason? Okay. Can I ask if you're ready with the items I asked you for? Yes. This guy wanted me to find uh, some particular items that he'd lost locally. But um, they haven't shown up yet, so don't worry about it, mate. Okay, the lad's also got himself one pot of plants. The pot is clay and it's slightly damaged. Okay, it is slightly damaged. He's not wrong. Oh my goodness, he signed it himself. That's adorable. I'm going to accuse him of having an unidentifiable or fake autograph because I don't recognize this signature. It's not officially one of our signatures at all. And, oh my goodness, he's willing to accept that. Sorry, I forgot to erase it. He just enjoys signing all of his own stuff. Marvellous. Right, buddy, I'll give you 25 for it. I cannot do better than that right now, okay? We're a bit shy on the old money. That's too little. You mean to say you don't want this, Bob? Okay. Um, I'll offer 30. No. Okay, this guy... One wrong move, he's just walking out with his plan, whatever. Okay, fine. If someone wants to buy the really good stuff from the window, oh, here we go. A shoulder bag. That was, oh, this is one of the big ticket items. Yes, doesn't seem to be worth that much. Okay, what do you think? And, uh, I mean, that's barely above its appraisal price. I'll still make 112v profit, but... To be honest, I need the money. I'm willing to do it, even though I think he's getting a really good deal there. Just because, yeah, it is a good buy for you. But unfortunately, I just need the money to stay afloat in order to purchase new stock. Because I do not want to end up more in debt. So, I want to sell something. Hope you can afford it. Okay. What precisely is this? It is a bookmark, which is... Uh, Apparently very valuable because, aha, it's made of platinum or so he claims. I'll be the judge of that, buddy. So he says perfect condition. It does appear to be so. But the big thing is uh, the material. Okay. So looking at that, looks to me like we're actually talking about, oh. Okay. Actually, 24 karat gold. Okay. Is it possible it's... I'm going to claim it was... Yeah, identifying metal is a bit on the hard side. I think it's actually gold. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give you that information, mate. It is gold. So, to be honest, wasn't really sure about that part. But he's got to be happy about this, all right? I'm giving him nothing but good news. So, with the flower in play, buddy... How do you feel about selling that to me for just 300? All right, that was probably... Ooh. Okay, 413 is his offer. Okay, let's call it uh, 350, buddy. All right, there's a nice plant right there. And you know what? I'll flip and take that. I've got some really good stuff in the window right now. So get rid of the old stuff. Bring that bookmark in. So we'll sell that for... I'm going to put that at 900. And what have you got? Ooh. This, I believe, is, yeah, something that I was asked to collect. Okay. Somebody wants this. I think Choi wants this, actually. So... 
This guy, yeah, he wants to just get rid of it because it's dangerous to hold it because it's basically an ID card for the government. And hang on. Okay, the name on it is Jinmin Cha. Is that by any chance? No, I thought it looked familiar from a poster of uh, missing people, but it's not the same person. Okay, no problem whatsoever. You know what? I'll just uh, have this. No trouble. The question is, do I want to sell it? How much is it worth? Not much. I'm just going to hold it. I'm not putting it in the window. So I can keep stuff in my inventory, but not actually sell it. And uh, more people want to buy more stuff. The boots, 275, uh, it's fake. Oh, ho, 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 Oh, excuse me. You're not getting that. Get out of my cooking shop. And another lucky woman walks into the shop. She just thought she was selling some basic sunglasses, but cursor examination says, one, they're platinum, and two, they appear to have no. They do not have a signature on them. There is not the trail at the end of the M, and the line into the E is incorrect. Oh dear, this is a fake signature. I am so sorry, but... Though I've managed to ID these glasses as platinum and thus valuable, uh, no. Actually, that's a fake signature. That is not real. So, she accepts that. That is correct. So, uh, nothing else we need to do uh, right there. We can just put the book away. Alright, but she's still thrilled because uh, of the platinum. I think we can really lowball her. I'm going to give her 60 as a starting point. Oh, uh-oh. You're trying to play hardball, I see. On a 30% margin, let's stop wasting our time. Settle on at 89. I may have pushed her a bit hard there. I'm going to say 75. Let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. The flower might have pushed us over the line. I can make some really good money on them. All right, get them straight outside. I'll put that out at uh, 180. That's going to be a very healthy margin. But I'm really not floating enough cash right now. I need to get some more cash in. So, okay. It's... I have no idea who this guy is, but he seems to know me. Oh, okay. This might be a guy from my past. I don't know. I've no clue. I don't know what my backstory is. I think I came to this city, like, recently. Maybe I've got amnesia. I'm not sure. But apparently this guy wants everyone to be turned into a zombie by the fix rain. So, I mean, okay. Takes all sorts to make a world, I guess. Oh, here we go. We're selling some good stuff right here. We're finally making some money back. If more people just want to come in at the end of the day. And no, nope, that's the day's end. The TV is saying go home now. I will as soon as I'm done scavenging through the bins. There we go, bit of cash and a couple of uh, cheap items I can shove in the window. Okay, brand new day and this woman has brought me the Mona Lisa, which is definitely 100% real. Okay, so yep, seems to be slightly damaged and she's just declared it a great piece. Okay, I feel like this woman's going to be trouble. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Um, picture does appear to be from... Uh, 1503, which is by far the oldest thing we've come across so far. Okay, well, there's no signature, though. I mean, I'm going to be honest, like, I don't actually know whether there is a signature on the Mona Lisa. Could this be the real Mona Lisa? I'm not sure. Well, one way or the other, we can't ID an artist. So, yeah, as we don't have an artist ID'd, it's got to be failed, poor or fine. I'll give you, if that's actually been painted, it's not like, you know, a print or something, it is pretty good. It's not great, but it'll do. But I will tell you, you've got something going for you. This here, this has got archaeological value because it goes before the year 2000. That's the cutoff point for archaeological. So, okay, we'll just uh, be shoving that over there because it's really, really damn old. And... Uh, Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to clear myself out of money again, aren't I? Problem's going to be getting her to accept the price. I mean, she's smiling. There's a plant right now. 450 strikes me as a good offer. All right. Let's just 
I can't complain. Good, 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 good. I think we can get away with uh, a nice round uh, 1,250 for that. That's got to be a, a good starting point right there. We'll see if anyone goes for that. And seriously, I need one of the big ticket items uh, to sell right now because I'm actually out of money. Here we go. Someone's actually buying something uh, right now. So, oh yeah, here we go. Yes, paid more than I expected. Uh, I won't complain. It's almost new. Okay. That is precisely what we needed uh, to see. She came in. We've now got money again. This is, oh, freshly lifted ID card. Okay, it's an ID card. It's made of plastic. It's a little bit damaged. I mean, yeah, it's only a tiny bit damaged. That's fine, to be honest. We shouldn't put that in the window, but someone's going to want to buy that under the table. So, uh, I mean, go on. I see no reason why not. Yeah, go on. I'm pretty flush right now. I'll give you 50 for it, and we'll just hold it in the back room, ready for somebody. So, there we go. Should have maybe gone a bit cheaper right there. Okay, still got plenty of money. We're fine. Everything's under control. Oh, and more people coming in to buy. This is uh, marvellously good news. Uh, okay, golden glasses. Oh, thank goodness, more people just buying more stuff. So, uh, yeah, I priced them at 180. I bought them at 75. Oh, no, he's going to go for it. Oh, I've made some really good money today. I need to clear out the windows, by the way. Too many uh, sold things are not good. You can move things around if you want to. I like how you can just arrange the window. That's magnificent. Oh, I forgot to put these out, by the way. They're not exactly, you know, much or anything, but I shan't say no. Just random remote and then a hoverboard. Okay, hang on. That's... Apparently hoverboards are cheap in the future. Got it. So we'll just put them at like uh, 30. That's fine. I found it in the trash, so I shouldn't expect too much. Oh, okay. Apparently a celebrity's just walked in. So a famous actress. And... Uh, okay. She's selling a doll of herself, presumably. Okay, like merchandise or something. Signature of artist, slightly damaged, popular item, doll, velvet. Okay, let's uh, check on this. Ooh. When you say slightly damaged, I'd say the needle is closer to fairly damaged, actually. Is she willing to accept that? She is willing to accept that. She's not thrilled about it, but that's significantly lowers the price. And I am trying to save money right now. Yeah, I feel like I would have been uh, left holding the bag uh, on this one. So the material is uh, this. Oh, it's not velvet. It's cotton. Oh, she's trying to rip me off. Check the signature. And yeah, that is presumably hers. So, oh no, sorry. His. Sorry. My mistake. Uh, right, 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 right. And uh, presumably it's legit as you are literally the famous actor. But youngsters like him. Okay. I'm willing to acknowledge that right now you're popular. Therefore, yeah, you're going to get a tiny, tiny amount more. Right, put all that together, buddy, and I'm really sorry, but you're not getting much for this. So, I'll be generous and give you 35. That's really not that much, to be honest. Like, I think I could have, uh, yeah, charged less, but not what I expected. Has your autograph. However, I'm a star who really cherishes his fans, so I can't accept. I have no idea who you are, mate. Next up, we have got a sculpture that someone has made. So, slightly damaged, I will accept that. That's perfectly uh, acceptable. Next up, it is presumably uh, wooden. Yep, wooden, no problem there whatsoever. I'm going to date it to uh, 2064. Not tied to any major event whatsoever. And... Uh, Yes, indeed. Signature. All right, let's just make sure the signature is legit. And best as I can see, that would appear to be correct. So, okay. Ah, recently becoming a fixie, he's considered as dead. Okay. Now, this is interesting because this is... Uh, an artwork, yes. So, signature of an artist. There are special rules for art signatures, aren't there? 
Here we are. Check if an artwork has a signature, then look it up on the signature list. There is a signature on the list. We verified it. So as it's on the list, consider it that of a well-known artist. So then check whether he's alive or not, and whether it was created during the artist's best days. Well, he's considered dead, but he isn't. So, okay. Hang about, hang about, hang about. It was produced in 2064, and his artistic K-Day was in that period, between 2058 and 2067. Gonna be honest, mate, you might actually have something rather valuable here. And yeah, there's deceased. So, uh, alternatively, yeah, work in his prime. Well, he's not dead. He's considered dead, but he's not dead. So, are you willing to accept this? And uh, that's not it. He already became uh, okay. Shouldn't he be treated as... Okay, you do mean uh, literally. In this universe, you mean uh, treated as deceased. Okay. So it is by deceased artist, but unfortunately, that's whacked the price up probably beyond what I can afford. Unless, of course, I take out a loan. It depends whether I think I can sell this or not. If I can sell this, then screw it. We're taking the gamble. All right, I've now got money. And this guy's got to be happy with me, okay? Because I have told him, yeah, this is 10 million times more valuable than you were expecting. So I'm willing to offer you 1,500 right now. All right, make the offer. And can you offer me slightly more? 1,650. All right. And let me think. Is he going to go for it? Dramatic tension or is he waiting? No, you'll give me more than that. Am I wrong? Oh, oh. I asked one more time. You know what? That's not bad deal. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll actually give him the 1789. Yeah, dumb. That's acceptable to me. Okay, that was... That's a lot of money I've just spent on a the small rabbit, but I'm really hoping that we can make a lot of money out of this. I'm putting it up at 4,000, all right? I have got some good artwork in the window, and then we've got much worse artwork. Marvelous. It's literally done on paper, not canvas, you stupid bastards. Uh-oh, this is actually real. It's actually got a signature on it, and it is a signature belonging to a person who is now a fixie and thus deemed deceased. That means this is really valuable, irritatingly. Right, that is an artist. Yep, there's a signature of an artist. You're not wrong, but I don't want to tell him the artist is deceased, because if I do, yeah. Um, I won't be able to uh, afford it. So uh, I'm going to kind of obscure that fact and just make an offer based on this incomplete information. So uh, how about just 300, mate? No one I expected. Uh, you offer me a tiny bit more. Okay, 325. But come on. This is not a bad deal. There is a flower. Are you sure? Thanks. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, 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 now. Outside we go. Look, I'll get back to you in a second, all right? Oh, never mind. You want to buy the... Oh, you want to buy the trash? Um, I mean, sure. Here you go. Okay, can people stop bringing in artwork? Okay, at least this guy painted it himself, and it is trash. Look, I'll give you 45 for it, just because I'm rather enjoying having, you know, art in the window. But you're lucky to get even that. In fact, you know what? I am actually going to... Uh, rearrange this. I am going to put the art all on this side. All right, the art's all going to go together. It's going to be beautiful. Look at that. Some really beautiful bits of art all next to each other and the trash is over on this side. Now, I can't help but notice I have managed to now take out every loan available and on top of that, I am almost out of money again. 
Oh, okay, it's another bit of fine art. So, okay, no space for this painting in my apartment. Is it by any chance actually, you know, legit? So, just nice present. Okay, fine piece, canvas I damaged. I mean, it's got archaeological... Look, I will get to you in a second. I'm not sure I'm actually allowed to reevaluate this, but... I mean, it is marked as archaeological value, so I think it might be real. I'll be back for you just in a moment, all right? I've got real bloody art to sell. Now, what do you want, buddy? You want to sell me a... Ooh, a hoverboard, which has got... Oh, it's got a brand, does it? Yeah, I bet it's bloody not. Perfect condition, not even close. Get out of here. And this guy's back. Okay, so he wants to get... Yeah, uh, those items. I do have some uh, ID cards for you, actually. Would you like an ID card? I may be actually aiding and abetting a terrorist right now, but this guy wanted a card. So go on, why not? And uh, I'm going to charge you... How about... 90. How's that? And uh, it's not what I can afford. Uh, can you please cut it to? Okay, he knows what it's worth. Fine, whatever. And now he wants to find a time cinema. So, okay, keep an eye out for that. This guy will buy that, but don't pay too much for it because apparently he's a bit of a deadbeat. Oh, now here we go. People are trying to buy the artwork. And uh, don't see the reason to buy it for that price. Look, it might actually be cocking original. This is a bargain. And, uh, I mean, I do need some money. Oh, go on. I kind of need some money just to keep me going. It must be said. I feel like I've just sold a priceless work of art for the same amount as we are selling, like, you know, second-hand low-rate hoverboards. Okay, more people buying more goods. Some sunglasses uh, have been purchased. I still haven't shifted, uh, you know, the art... And also, oh, here comes the nightmare propaganda. The day is at an end. Okay, I could pay off. Oh, I can't. I can't pay off everyone. Okay, I can pay off you just so I don't need to be paying uh, interest. So we'll just get rid of that. I can't afford. Oh, this guy's going to bleed me dry. Okay, so today I can actually, yes, hand over the couple of umbrellas I've got. But I must end today with enough money to pay for, uh, yes, the merchant registration tomorrow morning. It is crucial I am floating enough money at the end of the day. Okay, a little bit of like buying and selling today. The problem is, yeah, I'm buying more cheap stuff and uh, they're only buying the... Oh no, no, that's actually a loss. Screw you, get out of my shop. Yeah, people are only trying to buy uh, the cheap stuff. I feel like I may have invested too much in almost certainly dubious bits of high art. And no, 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 no. That's a crime. Umbrellas are a crime and you know that. I mean, I could. I could sell him an umbrella for a really large amount of, uh, large amount of money. I mean, is anyone really going to know? This is actually my more expensive umbrella. I mean, no one's... No one's watching right now, are they? Look, I tell you what, buddy. Okay, I like it. How much is it? Well, okay, here's the... Wait, what? No, 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 no. You can't have it, mate. What you actually need is... I... I didn't... I was going to gouge him for 500. Okay, apparently I was feeling generous. I'm well, not that generous. I still gouged him, but whatever. And uh, seriously, someone buy the artwork, please. Okay, I mean, that's it's quite a bit of money. And I'll buy right now for... Ooh, no, that's below the appraisal. Screw you. Oh, here come more people trying to muss in on the umbrella trade. So this guy wants me to hand over umbrellas to him, not to AVAC. Okay, don't worry about getting caught. Won't use the umbrellas. I won't talk about it. I can pay you... Uh, ooh. Not gonna lie, that is a good amount of money. Yeah, go on. Okay. I mean, I feel like I shouldn't be helping out the organisation that is about to dump zombie juice on the entire city. Like, intentionally. And announcing it ahead of time. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Sure, he can have the umbrellas. Okay, hang on. What's your deal, precisely? Went to his house. Security was so bad. Oh, you just... 
Did you just break into a scientist's house and then just steal this thing? Okay, fascinating. And, oh, hang on, this is the time cinema. Yeah, the guy wanted this, gotcha. Right, well, it's a little bit damaged. Not fairly damaged, I'd say, only a tiny bit. I don't know why I'm giving you a good price for this. He's only going to pay you the absolute bare minimum, but whatever. And, of course, as is traditional, he signed himself for no well-explained reason. But that works in my favour. That means I can actually, uh, yes, uh, pay you less for it, because it's not a real signature. Right, 180, and we're done here. All right, and... Uh, Okay, good, 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 good. Don't sell it. Hold it on one side. Give it to him because for some reason we're helping that guy. Oh, and obviously this woman buys the only bit of art that's actually incredibly cheap. I think she's something like an autograph. Um, I mean, there is one, but to be honest, it's not like a real... 37? I mean, it is trash. She's not wrong, but that's that's too low even for trash. Oh, here come the police. So, okay. Um, Do I still have an umbrella to give to you, by the way? Or did I give the other umbrella to the other guy? Okay, I already gave it away. Um, Yeah, no one's handed me any umbrellas. You can just go now. I expect you to have at least one. I've got no choice but to raise your... Uh-oh. I don't know what my renunciation rate is. My renunciation rate is now 10%. Oh, I think that's my fine if I break the law, which I have been doing, so I need to be careful. Basically, it means if I, yes, commit a crime and get caught, I now have to pay 10% off all the money I've got. Oh, now, here's something interesting. 88 Seoul Olympics post stamp. That's... that's proper old. It is, however, yeah, pretty damn damaged. I'd say that's fairly damaged, uh, not slightly, which is important because it is actually going to be, yeah, an antique. 1988, able to verify that. So it does have archaeological value. So that's going to make it much more valuable. And uh, no signature because it is a stamp. Okay, I can give you a bit for that. But seriously, I'm trying to make money, not give it away right now. I am almost out of space in my shop window at the moment. This is, uh, this is getting concerning, and I'm floating a lot of stock that is not moving. And I'm actually underneath, uh-oh. I'm under 1,300. Okay, that's a concern. But we do have this lad coming in, and screw it. Yeah, just, just take it. Just, just take whatever money he's offering for some of the little bits of our art I've been picking up. Oh, here we go. The bookmark. Something must be wrong. Who will buy this thing for 900? Okay, I may have overpriced it. I'll admit. But the appraiser was... I mean, I may have got the material wrong. It's not impossible. Screw it. I'll take it. I will take his... His offer. Yeah. Right, so that gets me up to enough money. All right, to so the bare minimum, we're shifting some of the high-ticket items, and I am still making some profit. And good, that was the end of the day. So I can't pay back Malone, then I wouldn't have enough left over, but I can at least afford my license, so it's not game over. First thing we do is we purchase the license. And there we go. I am now registered as a merchant. I can keep trading. And more and more shops are also opening up too. So I've now got a repair shop. So if there's an item that is valuable but quite badly damaged, yes, repairing it, that's going to be a good thing for me to do. In fact, this is going to be critical because what I can do is, in particular, highly expensive items, buy them on the cheap, and then, at that point, hand them to him to repair up because we can get rid of that minus 60%. Oh yeah, now this is what we need to do. So, 59V in order to, yeah, repair that stamp. So, that cost me money straight away, but it appears to be pretty much instantaneous. And that stamp is now worth a whole lot more. So yes, it is now praised at 169. I was originally advertising it at 135, but now we can whack the price up to... 
comfortably say 275 so that is going to pay for itself beautifully okay repair shop that is brilliant for the right item uh oh okay the police have arrived and they learned that i sold an umbrella okay I pay the fine or they arrest me on the spot fine is 250 okay so maybe stop selling umbrellas that was probably the lad who I gave the umbrella to for 200. So, okay, I made a loss on that. And also, I'm now on the police's radar. Aha! It's Friday. Doing a bit of buying and selling. Almost out of money, um, again. And yes, buddy, I've got your, um, time cinema right here. However, I am expecting to be paid for my trouble. So, go on. 300. And good. Good, good, good. I've at least made some money out of that so uh, there we go i've aided this terrorist i'm sure that's not going to cause me trouble with the police okay um the police have shown up and uh, they know i helped the terrorist i mean quite frankly i feel like i'm getting off lightly with a fine oh hang on no they've just they've just cancelled the fine from this point on everything i say to you is oh good i get to be a double agent for the nightmare zombie rain police if items related to Eugene O come in, don't resell them. Okay. So, fine. You'll never see the light of day again. Okay, keep an eye out for anything with that signature. Then just hold it on one side. Do not sell it. Keep it for the Nightmare Zombie Rain Police. It's the end of the week. And I have not managed to shift, like, a single one of the big artworks. Like, they're just sitting there doing nothing. Ooh, okay. There's a new policy announced over the weekend. So we can stop the fix rain from happening as long as we don't need the fix rain. The fix rain is to stop avarice criminals. So as long as avarice criminals are, you know, hunted down in a sufficient number each week, then we don't need to do the zombie rain. I'm gonna be honest, I do kind of run a shop that rips people off and then sells their possessions at a massive 100% markup. So, I feel like this isn't good news from my point of view. Oh yeah, we've now got arrested for crimes, informant of the week awards. Marvelous. So, I've now got my button. So, okay, count of the day, count of the week. And I push the button to report someone for avarice. I feel like I'm the one who's doing the avarice, but okay. Okay, speak of the devil. Someone just came in and offered me a loan. Do I, do I push the button right now? Or do I just accept that this is... Okay, this might just be a source of more loans. I'm gonna be honest, I'm already in a lot of debt, mate. Okay, should I push the... I don't know when I push the button. Oh, and on top of that, another new mechanic. So now uh, we can get around the problem that... Yes, if I want to sell something at a high price, I have to confirm to the customer that they've got a valuable item. Now I can get around that, I've got private slots. I can identify something as really valuable, but only I know it. So I can rip them off. Seriously, this is asking for trouble with the report button. But if I do that too much, complaints and nasty rumours that I'm ripping people off might start. Gotcha. And on top of that, the woman from the jewellery store next door just showed up with a, a gem appraisal. So okay, everything's getting increasingly complicated. Alright, papers please style every week new mechanics. So now I've got to start analysing particular gems. Okay, here's interesting. Woman's just walked in with a seemingly meaningful bit of paper. Let's do this nice and fast here. Fairly damaged, she is broadly correct. There are no gems, I need checking. It is indeed a paper. Check the date, I'm guessing this is going to be important. So yeah, uh, 2060. Chippy, separated from potato chips, the anti-chippy act. Yes, this is basically a declaration of anti-slavery from robots or something. And it's also got a signature on it. So we need to check the signature. Hang on. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Where is this signature? Is that... Hang on, it's you, isn't it? So, yes. Uh, Han Sol, former president. Great popularity. So that's actually, uh, yeah, plus 20%. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to keep that to uh, myself. 
down here. So the item is actually popular and it is hugely significant, all things considered. So, uh, 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 over to the manual and history and time. This has, yes, national historic value. Double that up. So, okay. I mean, I feel like I'm uh, bickering over not much here, in a way. Uh, what else can I... Uh, learn about this. I already know about that. I already know about the signature too, which appears to be genuine. Yeah, this is basically like the Emancipation Proclamation, but for robots or something. So, okay. Pretty, uh, pretty big deal, it must be said. I mean, then again, popular item. Let's move that up to her declaration. Look, I need to make space for the fact there's a big politician slot, and that I need to... Oh, hang on. No, that's businessman politician. Oh, that's minus 30. Oh, okay. Now, it has been signed by a politician, and I want you to know about that, because that's actually meaning it's going to be worth less officially. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so now you think it's worthless, and it is kind of, but if I repaired it, then maybe, just maybe. Okay, I'm spending a lot of time doing not much work here. It's all absolutely fine. You know what? I feel like we're bickering over not much right now, but if I get that repaired and I'm aware that it's actually incredibly important, well, we might have something good on our hands. So we're not selling it yet. We need to get it repaired first. Oh, flip me. Someone's come in for the wooden sculpture. Yeah, it costs four grand and doesn't seem to be worth that much. Look, it is signed. The person is, yep, done, done, sell it, sell it, accept, 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 boom, pay off my debt, pay off the debt, pay off the debt. I am, yes, I am a genius at business. Okay, I am debt free. I've got two and a half grand. It's time to go. Oh, this woman's wearing a badge. She's one of the bad people. Okay. Hang about. Let's check what's going on with you. Oh, slightly damaged, you say. Fairly damaged, I say. Okay, time to push the button. Can we push the button? Is this what the button's even for? I'm going to push the button. Report her. Okay, so she already had a badge, so she's going to be disappeared by the secret police momentarily because she was sort of avaricy. She came in saying it was, like, less damaged than it was. That's kind of avarice, right? And it's even got a fake signature. Dear oh flippin' dear, one of the lines at the top right there is going the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna push the report button. I can't push it again. I'm glad I pushed it though, because she's trying to push dodgy goods on me. Look, I will give you 14 and you're lucky to flipping get it. Oh, and here we go. Here's this week's bloody ripoff. So apparently so far I've been living rent free. Now I need to start paying rent. Oh, was that the woman I pushed the button on? It might be. If so, she's in prison now. Marvellous. Still, I've got things I can do at this point. Yeah, we've got to go and uh, get the Declaration of Independence fixed up. And I just found a, a trashed old robot in the bin. Now, the base cost is actually pretty good. Fix that up to only slightly damaged... Uh, Oh, that's good money that I've just picked out of the trash. So, okay, there's some really nice money. We're already doing pretty well, so I'm not too worried by the end of the week. And finally, the investment in fine art paid off. But, 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 I would say, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is no umbrellas allowed, and uh, it really is something special. Okay, this is an extremely compelling game to me. All right, the core loop that it's got just really works for me. I just love exploring the city, getting to engage with all the other shopkeepers, how the narrative is just woven into the game, the buying, the selling, the evaluating, the negotiating, all of it just works for me so, so damn well. This I will be paying attention to, okay? I'll keep an eye on how the video does. We might well have it as an option for a live stream and... Uh, if you guys don't want to see it, then I'll probably just finish it on my own time. Because this, this is something really cool that just works for me. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. Link down in the description below. Well worth a look-see, I would say. This came out in September. Didn't really make much of a splash then. But seriously, this is uh, 
this is really damn good stuff. Well worth more success than it seems to have had so far. So, hopefully, some of you might well agree. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been Jonas, has been many a true nerd, and this has been the utterly fascinating No Umbrellas Allowed. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Were we doing virtual reality, or was that just like a metaphor for lesbian sex? And then he smacked me lightly across the face with the money! What? This is... Well, where is this going? What's happening? We're gonna buy a whole new bin, and we're gonna write Brendan on it, and we're gonna put him in it and toss it off the pier.